Since 2010, Liverpool have made more from player sales than any other club in the world. The Reds have amassed a fortune of £378 million, placing them ahead of the likes of Valencia and Juventus. So it's pretty obvious that Liverpool have sold some really great players in recent years, and most of their fee is made up from three players, Torres, Suarez and Sterling. Liverpool are still waiting to win their first Premier League title. If they had kept some of these players, maybe their name would already be on the trophy. So here is Liverpool's best 11 if they had kept their best players. Pepe Reina A true Liverpool favourite, Reina is certainly the best goalkeeper to have played for the club in the last decade. The Napoli player is now 34, but he would easily walk back into this Liverpool team and take that number one jersey. Joel Matip Matip has added some coolness and a sense of composure to a Liverpool defence that, let's face it, is a bit bonkers at times. Last season, Matip was so impressive for Liverpool that Klopp felt no pressure in letting Mamadou Sacco leave on loan to Crystal Palace. Dejan Lovren Right, okay, we know what you all think about Dejan Lovren, that is absolutely crap, but last season he was a lot better and was pretty good in fact. While he was about as much use as a nun's marital aid when he first moved to Anfield, he has since settled into his role as being the slightly clumsy but hard-working defender. Mikel San Jose This is the first player that we changed from the original article on hitsy.com, so click the link in the description and you can see who was in his place originally. Anyway, we decided to go for San Jose simply because he's a fantastic defender and has all the attributes to boss the midfield as well. Though he failed to make a single appearance during his time at Liverpool, after moving back to Athletic Bilbao, he has been a rock for them. Javier Mascareno This is where this Liverpool team starts to get seriously strong, starting with this Argentine maestro. Having bizarrely joined Liverpool from West Ham in 2007, he made 139 appearances in just three years before heading to Barcelona. Since then, he's been converted to a centre-back and back, and has won 16 trophies in just six seasons with Barca. Chabi Alonso Alright, before all you smart asses start saying, he's retired, he's retired. We know he's retired, but he would still easily walk into this Liverpool team, or any team in the Premier League for that matter. A Liverpool hero, Alonso was one of the finest players to play for Liverpool in the 2000s. An exceptional midfielder with a fantastic range of passing and a thumping long shot, Alonso played 210 games for Liverpool in five years at the club. He made a £30 million switch to Real Madrid in 2009 and continued to prove that he was one of the best midfielders in the world. A year later, he won the World Cup and then a move to Bayern Munich proved that he still had it well into his 30s. Philippe Coutinho this little magician is just bloody fantastic, and we can see why the likes of Barcelona were linked with him. A member of the 2014-2015 PFA Team of the Year, Coutinho joined Liverpool from Inter Milan for just 8.5 million. 182 games and 42 goals later, Coutinho is still amongst one of the best players in the Premier League, and is just tremendous to watch. Raheem Sterling Probably a really unpopular choice with most Liverpool fans, but we've just got to go with him. I mean, it's not like we're going to pick Stuart Downing, right? Under Pep Guardiola at Man City, Sterling has been in fantastic form and scored seven times and created the third most chances in the team last season. The England international scored 23 goals in 129 games for Liverpool before making the huge £49 million move to Man City. Sadio Mane it really didn't take Mane long to find his feet at Liverpool after moving from Southampton. He scored 13 times in just 23 games last campaign and his terrifying pace, mixed with his eye for a goal, makes him a really scary opponent. So we could have included Adam Lallana, Jorginho Wijnaldum or whoever else in Cam and played Coutinho out wide, but we just couldn't pass up Mane's goals. Luis Suarez the outstanding player in his team, Suarez is one of the finest players of his generation. He played 133 games for Liverpool and scored an astonishing 82 goals. Since joining Barcelona, he's just gone from strength to strength. Alongside Lionel Messi and Neymar, the MSN has become truly feared by most defenders in the world. In fact, they are arguably the most formidable attacking trio in football history. He scored a whopping 121 goals from just 147 games at the new Camp. Fernando Torres Another change we made from the original article, we simply couldn't leave Torres out. 
If he had stayed at Liverpool when Luis Suarez signed, the partnership would have been amongst the greatest in Premier League history. And yeah, okay, while he failed to make a £50 million impact at Chelsea, he has enjoyed somewhat of a renaissance at Atleti. And that's our team. Who do we miss out? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't and please head over to our new channel, HITC7s, for all your top 7 football lists.